Hi, I'm David with Media Unlocked, and today I'm coming at you with uh, an update on Magic Lantern. <clears throat> um, the 13th of this month, someone came out with a new update of uh, Magic Lantern, and it is pretty awesome. It has some really nice new features that I'm about to go over with you guys and show you uh, firsthand some of the nice new features it has. Um, but before we jump right into that, I'd like to... Um, I'd like to thank a couple people. Um, I'd like to thank uh, Alex uh, Dumtrace, if I'm saying that right, and uh, Armin Sani. Sani? Ar Armin Sani. Um, those are two YouTube channels that were nice enough to actually send me the link to the new Magic Lantern hack. Um, there's actually a website where you can actually go and you can actually see all the new all the new firmware updates and stuff. So. When I get done showing you guys the new software, I'm going to jump on the computer and uh, I'll actually show you how to go to this website and uh, and where you go so you can check for new updates whenever you want to. Um, so, but this new uh, Magic Lantern hack firmware, whatever you want to call it, it's pretty awesome. Um, for all you people out there that watch my video on setting up uh, headphones with your uh, Magic Lantern firmware, um, this hack or firmware will allow you to actually uh, switch between using, say, an external monitor or like your computer slash um, headphones. So you can switch between the two. Where before you kind of only could do the headphones, or you could do the you could have you know you had two different firmwares you had to have on there. One for the headphones, or one uh, piece of firmware for the uh, you know hooking up to like an external monitor or your laptop. Well, now you can jump between the two um, right in the hack, right in the firmware. So, um, so let's get to it. Okay, let's turn the camera on. Now this version of Magic Lantern seems to be the uh, longest uh, far as booting up. You're going to notice it took a second for the audio meters to come up. But um, it has some really cool features that I really like. Um, they fix a lot of nice bugs in this. So let's go on and open it up. Um, one of the biggest features, um, we're going to drop all the way down here to the bottom of the... Um, audio section if you notice it says uh, monitor USB on so this pretty much means that if you're connecting say your USB cord in here to um, your laptop then uh, it will monitor it through your laptop but say hey you want to listen to audio you don't really want it you don't really care about seeing it through your laptop or you don't have a laptop the screen on the back the screen on the back of the camera is good enough for your viewing um, then you just click right here, boom, and then exit out, turn it off, and turn it back on, and let it boot up for a second, it takes a few seconds. There we go. And uh, now monitoring USB is off. So now you can listen to it. If you have the hookup, like I showed you guys how to do the hookup on a previous video. And if you guys don't know how to set up a headphone setup so that you can monitor your audio via headphones through your camera, then um, then click on the link um, that I just put up on the screen and uh, you can go watch that video and then come back and use this, uh, this information with that video and be able to listen to your videos via headphones while you're recording and shooting. So it's really nice. Okay, so uh, that's a pretty cool feature, um, and then we are going to uh, head on over to Live View. Uh, if you guys didn't know, um, on the Live View, and you can turn off your like what's called global draw, and that pretty much turns off like all your extra stuff, as far as like your histogram and your zebra and all that. But zebra's got some pretty cool stuff. Um, you can actually. Do uh, different, I believe, percentages or different um, different things within Zebra that you couldn't do before. Um, you can do crop marks in the new one. Most of you should already have crop marks. So let me just zoom in just a little bit more. Um, so you got you got your crop marks here. Uh, spot meter. Nothing nothing too big or new. Um, within live view um, let's see here movie okay now <laughs> bitrate um, now under movie this is where you do your Q scale but there's a couple other things that you have besides that you have four default or FW default 
CBRE 30 MS, um, and you have Q scale. Now, uh, if you notice that most of your most of your buttons or functions, you've hit set and then left or right right here. Um, a third, so you can't do that with Q scale. Like, so you can't you can't make your Q scale go you know by going up and down. Um, your Q scale is not going to go up and down. So what you do actually is Q is kind of the new button that a lot of people I don't know if you know, but Q is kind of your um, your next button that you guys can use. And if you notice, you use Q, and there you go. And that will go through and set your Q scale up for you. So, um, and that's with anything where you notice where by pushing left or right, it's not going up or pushing up and down. The uh, the item's not going up and down. Hit Q. Q is also um, used for auto. So say I wanted to set. Uh, let's see here. I'll go to shoot. Um, actually, uh, exposure. So say I want to set my white balance right now. I'll hit Q. And it's going to go into some white balance for me. Of course, I believe I have my cap on, so my white balance is going to be way crazy. But, so Q is kind of like an automatic setting. You hit Q, it automatically sets stuff for you. So, all right. Um, so that's the movie. Next is Shoot. Uh, of course, pretty much Shoot pretty much has the same exact stuff. So you can actually set up a bulb timer down at the bottom. So if you actually want to set up a timer for a long, long exposure... You have that now. Uh, okay, so this is a really cool feature that I really like about Magic Lantern that they fixed. Um, so say I want to set my ISO, boom. If you notice, as long as I'm, I'm setting my ISO, it's only going to show ISO and the number, and it's going to allow me to actually see what's going on. Before, if you remember, uh, the, firm, the Magic Lantern firmware, um, when you're doing it, it still, it still had that big, huge, you know, it still had this there. But now when you actually set your firmware, boom, okay, I'm good, I'm at 500, now I'm going to go back down. You can set up, uh, this is your white balance also, it's kind of like your, your, your Calvin color. So, you know, indoor, outdoor, it's going to be, it's going to be a little bit different. So you can go on and set that automatically or you can do that manually, which is great. And if you do it manually, again, it's going to allow you to do it manually um, and you're actually going to be able to see what's going on on the screen. So uh, I really like that feature. Um, now you have control of your aperture in the new one. Um, I don't believe there's control of aperture in the last one I had. Um, you really have, a in the exposure setting, you have a lot of options here, and it's just awesome. And if you notice, there's these things right here, and it's, if it tells you, Q equals automatic. So Q is kind of like another a new button to the firmware if some of you aren't already using it. So uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, it really didn't change anything in the focusing, and uh, the uh, and then you have a couple other settings under debug. But the coolest thing that I like about the newest um, edition of Magic Lantern is I've got my settings. Let's say I got my settings the way I want to. Go exit out, boom off, turn it back on. It saved my settings. I don't have to physically go through debug and click save settings or save configuration anymore. It's saved for me right then and there. So, um, which I just think is amazing. Um, I'm gonna go turn off my. I guess I left my zebras on here. So uh, zebra off. Um, so that's the. It's still a little twitchy. As you guys know, it was still twitching a little bit. But I mean, it's awesome because uh, it just saves my settings, and I don't. I don't have to go in like you. Like if you know before and people that are out there that have the older version that their settings they have to reset every time they turn the camera on uh, go to debug and then there's something called say configure hit that but I'm telling you guys you guys need to update get your new update on here on this new uh, magic lantern firmware because this is awesome um, it's the best one they come out with by far uh, something else that I noticed if I wanted to focus um, you're gonna notice this pop up and let's go and take this off so I can actually show you guys because this is actually pretty cool. So this is just my my black backdrop that it's shooting into. And if you notice, when I'm trying to get my focus right, um, I get this little screen pop up, and it gives you like a it's like a magnification of what what exactly see, exactly you're focusing on. Um, and it's really cool actually. I really like it. So um, so there are some of the new features of the. Uh, the Magic Lantern firmware, it was put out the 13th of February, or 13th of March, 2011. 
and uh, I think you guys should go check it out. I'm gonna show you now how to how to check for updates on a regular basis, where, where you go to the website and where on the website you go, and how to do your updates. Um, so you can actually keep up with all the new updates coming out by Magic Lantern. All right, guys, so this is the Magic Lantern firmware uh, page, pretty much. Um, this is where you go to download all your new firmware, and uh, the link will be, of course, down in my description bar. And I just wanted to kind of show you where to go to get your new download. So I would highly suggest click on this link and save this in your bookmarks because that's what I've done. So mainly you're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page. So um, if you notice, some of my videos are on here. Um, and uh, let's see here. Actually, you're going to scroll all the way down to where it says Installing Updated Magic Lantern Builds. And then if you notice, the newest one was done on. 13th of March 2011 and you'll just go on and click on that and you'll click skip add and it's going to take you to another page now the cool thing about this is you can kind of read people's comments and like what they thought of it and then you can also read kind of what the new updates are going to be so if it's something that you think oh, I don't want it or I'm not interested in it um, you don't have to download it but you can kind of get a feel for it before um, you download it um, of course, I went through and downloaded it, and it's awesome. And then you're just going to hit click download, and it will download it to wherever you you download it. And then you open up a zip file, and you uh, go through the uh, very basic process of installing it. So that is where you go to get your updates. Um, so I would highly suggest it will be the, I'll add this to be our the first link in my description bar. And, um, and I highly suggest that you go on and save that to your bookmark so that you know every week or every couple weeks you can just jump on this website and check to see if anything new is out anyways uh, again check us out um, on twitter at david d images also i tr trying to be on skype a lot more um, so feel free to uh, hit me up on skype also my skype name is david d images if you have any questions or just want to talk mm -hmm.